In this video, I'm going to count down the top 5 scariest UK rides operating right now. If you want to impress your roadmen friends, then I suggest you go and ride every ride I'm about to talk about. If you dare. Hello and welcome back to Thrillnet, bringing you everything thrill related in the UK and beyond via the internet. And today, I'm going to be discussing in detail the top 5 scariest UK rides and roller coasters that are still operating. That's right, if you're brave enough, you can go and ride each and every ride and roller coaster I'm about to discuss. After you finish watching the video, of course. A quick disclaimer though, this list is solely down to my personal opinions, so please do not be offended if you disagree with it. But, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think the top 5 scariest UK rides and roller coasters are in the comments below. Also, in order to keep this list fair, I'll only be including rides and roller coasters that I've actually ridden. So, if you don't see an entry on this list that you were expecting to be on it, that might be the reason why. You want me to ride what? Doesn't seem very stealthy to me. So starting off with number 5, we have a fairly new, or you could say old, ride at Alton Towers, and that is Funk and Fly. Funk and Fly is a new for 2021 Super Trooper ride at Alton Towers, and is part of their Retro Squad lineup of temporary fairground rides. The ride essentially consists of a series of gondolas in a circular formation that are attached to some arms, which attach to a centrepiece. When the ride cycle begins, the ride starts to spin round before lifting up and tilting so that riders are spinning while almost travelling upside down. As a result, the ride does look quite intimidating off-ride, which adds to the scare factor for potential riders. However, when you're on the ride itself, it's even scarier than it looks. Riders of this ride are restrained by a lap bar, but the lap bar is really loose, meaning that there's plenty of room between your lap and the bar itself. Each seat has a raised part which you do put your legs around when sitting down meaning that you can't slide off the front of the gondola. However, you're still incredibly free to the point where it almost feels unsafe. To top this all off, the gondolas on the ride are free to swing forwards and backwards and side to side and they do do so when the ride tilts up. This combined with the spinning of the ride gives a really uncontrolled sensation as if the gondolas are going to fly off the arms they're attached to. Loose restraints combined with a ride that feels totally out of control make for an extremely scary experience, hence why Funk and Fly makes this list. Coming in at number 4, we have the first roller coaster on the list, and that is Speed No Limits at Oakwood Theme Park in Wales. Speed No Limits is a Eurofighter manufactured by German company Gerslar, and it was actually the first roller coaster of its kind to be built here in the UK. Gerslar Eurofighters are renowned for their vertical lift hills and beyond vertical drops, and speed is no exception. It's these two elements which make this ride so scary. Upon exiting the station, riders traverse a 90 degree right hand turn before travelling up a 115 foot tall vertical lift hill. By UK standards, this is quite a tall lift hill, and Speed is actually the tallest roller coaster of its kind here in the UK. Upon cresting the top of the lift hill, riders then plummet down a huge beyond vertical 97 degree drop, reaching a maximum speed of 59 miles per hour. It's safe to say that even after you've ridden this ride for the first time, travelling up that vertical lift hill is absolutely terrifying knowing what lies on the other side of it. To top it all off, Speed's lift hill is really really slow which further adds to the anticipation and fear of what's to come. The ride is also just as intimidating from an off-ride perspective and let's not forget the airtime hill, overbank turn, vertical loop, heartline roll and helix that follow that initial beyond vertical drop. All of this makes for a terrifying roller coaster but a very very good one. It's just a shame that it's located out the way in Pembrokeshire in South Wales. However do not fear there are two other Eurofighters located here in the UK that are more accessible. Those being Saw the Ride at Fort Park in Surrey and Rage at Adventure Island in Essex. Unfortunately though, they don't quite boast the height that Speed does. Before we go any further, to find out about everything pro related in the UK and beyond via the internet, 
be sure to smash the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I mean, why wouldn't you want to? I'm a UK theme and amusement park YouTuber who drops some bad jokes along the way. And if you don't, you'll be made to ride the next roller coaster in this list for the remainder of eternity. And trust me, you don't want that fate. Speaking of said roller coaster, at number three we have Hero at Flamingo Land. Manufactured by Zamperla, this is a Volair flying roller coaster, widely renowned as being one of the worst roller coaster types ever to be invented. Riders climb into the ride's gondolas stood up before being tilted forward into a face down position in which they experience the remainder of the ride. The restraint system is essentially a cage which closes behind riders, however their backs are completely unsupported. This results in riders feeling quite free to a point where, like Funk and Fly, the ride almost feels unsafe. This is because, firstly, the position that riders are restrained in is quite uncomfortable, and secondly, due to the fact that they're so free, whenever the train traverses a turn or inversion, they're flung about in the cage, which can result in some pretty nasty head and shoulder banging. So, yes, you'd be right in thinking that the reason this roller coaster makes this list is because the fact it's so free, uncomfortable, and painful means that when you ride it, you feel like you're gonna die. And despite the fact that it only reaches a maximum speed of 26 miles per hour, and is only 50 foot tall, it really does leave you needing a hero. I tell you what every hero needs though, a Blackpool Pleasure Beach Valhalla Shield. Blackpool Pleasure Beach may well be appearing later in this video, so you'll have to stay tuned and find out. Coming in at number 2 we have yet another roller coaster, and that is Oblivion, again at Alton Towers. Oblivion is a dive coaster manufactured by Swiss company Bolliger and Mabillard, and was the first of its kind to be manufactured in the world. It was also the world's first vertical drop. Stop being big headed Alton Towers, the drop's only 87.5 degrees, come on you know that. There are two factors that make this ride as scary as it is, how steep the drop is and the way the ride builds up the anticipation for it. The ride is essentially themed around you entering oblivion and there are three videos that play in the queue line surrounding this theme that help build anticipation. Furthermore, whilst you are boarding your train in the ride station, an announcement plays welcoming you to oblivion before the train is dispatched and travels up a very slow 65 foot tall lift hill. Honestly, this lift hill is terrifyingly and painfully slow, and it doesn't stop there, as after reaching the top of the lift hill, you then proceed at a snail's pace around the turn. This year, an incredibly steep drop then gradually comes into view, and you begin to edge closer and closer towards it. However, when you eventually reach the drop, you're stopped at about a 45 degree angle and held in mid-air. Honestly, at this point, your heart will be pounding like it's never done before. But eventually, after between around 3 and 10 seconds, you will be released down that 87.5 degree drop, which measures a sheer 180 feet. After this drop, you proceed through a left-hand turn, and the ride is over much more quickly than it began. Now, I know you may be thinking, how can Oblivion have an 180 foot drop when it's only 65 foot tall? Well, the reason for this is because Alton Towers have dug the drop into the ground, so it essentially goes underground. The reason this has been done instead of building an incredibly tall coaster is because Alton Towers are under strict planning restrictions in that they cannot build above tree height. But despite this and the fact it's so short, it's build up and steep drop make it an incredibly terrifying experience nonetheless. At number one, we have the iconic, no, not you icon, sorry, big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. I told you Blackpool Pleasure Beach may appear in this list somewhere. I mean, it couldn't be any other ride, could it? This is the tallest roller coaster in the UK, so it's no wonder it makes this list. That's not to mention that when it first opened in 1994, it was the tallest and steepest roller coaster in the world, so imagine how terrifying it would have been back then. There may have been roller coasters built since that are twice the height of it, but it still boasts an incredible 235. No, Pleasure Beach, stop being big headed like Holton Towers. It's 235 foot above sea level, but it only stands 213 foot above the promenade. Similar to Oblivion, Big One uses a build up of anticipation to create fear. After exiting the ride station and traversing a 180 degree turn, riders climb a large lift hill that takes around a minute to get to the top of. 
As riders climb higher and higher, the fear continues to grow, as Pleasure Beach gets smaller and smaller, and riders pass height markers stating how high above ground level they are. But eventually, you reach the top of the lift hill, 213 foot above ground, and plummet down a 205 foot drop at a 65 degree angle. To top it all off, the drop features a twist making it feel even steeper than it actually is, and it can also sometimes be quite rough, both of which further add to the scare factor. It's safe to say, I've never been more nervous to ride a UK ride than I have to ride Big One. I bottled riding it on multiple park visits until I eventually conquered my fear in 2018. The fact that the drop is so large and the coaster towers above ground level more so than any other in the UK means it would be criminal not to put it at number one on this list. For more things throw related in the UK and beyond, be sure to click the icon at the bottom of your screen to subscribe. Don't forget to leave this video a like and click the video on the right side of your screen to watch my in-depth review of Big One. I'm Ben, thank you so much for watching Thrillnet and I'll see you in another video.